With a head like that, we must be looking at Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus belongs to a group of ceratopsians called centrosaurines, which tend to have longer nasal horns, shorter brow horns and spiny frills. The famous Triceratops, in contrast, belongs to the Chasmosaurines, which instead favour longer brow horns and long, simple frills. The fossil record shows a bone bed of what was assumed to be a herd of these animals. But from what I've found, they're far more antisocial than expected, perhaps a result of modern climatic conditions or irregularities in the genome. I'll leave that up for you to decide. The purpose of these gorgeous frills has long vexed paleontologists. Were they primarily for display, temperature regulation or neck protection? Now that we have one in the flesh, hopefully we can solve this mystery once and for all.